this video is going to have a look at what is a step graph and then go through an example of how to construct one. So our step graph is a graph that consists of discontinuous graphs formed by two or more linear equations that have a zero gradient. So there's a couple of key pieces of information in there. The first is that it's going to be a discontinuous graph. So discontinuous graphs mean that they do not intersect and they do not join. So we can see that we've got three separate graphs on our example, but none of them are actually joining or intersecting. So we've got discontinuous graphs, and we can also see that they're made up of three straight lines. So a line that is straight is a line that has a zero, zero gradient. So we can see that our step graph is made up of discontinuous lines that has a zero gradient, so meaning that they're all horizontal. One important feature of the step graph to note is that on each line, there is, in our example, there is an open and a close point. Now, that's big important because at any one point along our x axis, there can only be one value. So if we have a look at x is equal to negative 1, and we can see that on there, we've got an unfilled dot at negative 1 and a filled dot at 4. So that means our value for negative 1, when x is equal to neg negative 1, is going to be negative 4. It is not negative 1. So our solid dot means that that value is included in that line. The empty dot means that it is not included. So in the equation, the solid dot would have a sign of greater than or equal to. The hollow dot or the empty dot would just have a sign of smaller than. So when the value is included, then it is solid. When it is not included, it is empty. So let's have a look at how, an example of how do we construct a step graph. So in the example, we want to construct a step graph that represents the, the below information. And we can see that we've got three equations, all with a zero gradient. So we've got y is equal to negative 3, we've got y is equal to 2, and y is equal to 5. So on our step graph, automatically, we can see that we're going to have three separate lines. Now, before we go ahead and graph those lines, we need to just have a look and see which ones are going to have hollow points or empty points and which ones are going to have solid points. So when the sign includes an equal to, that means it's going to be a solid dot. So having a look, our first sign doesn't have that equal to symbol, so it is going to be empty. Our second one does have an equal to, so it is going to be solid. In our second equation, they both don't have an equal to sign. So that means they both are going to be empty. And for our third equation, it does have an equal to symbol. So it is going to be solid. So now that we've worked out which ones will have a solid and which one will have an empty dot at the end, we can go ahead and start graphing. So our first one, when y is equal to negative 3, and it is going to be between 0 and 3. So going down to negative 3 on my y axis, and then I'm going to draw a line between 0 and 3. Now I can put in my dot. So I'm going to have an empty dot and then a solid dot. Then I can move on to my second line when y is equal to 2, and that is going to be between 3 and 5. So going up to y is equal to 2, and between 3 and 5, drawing a line. And I'm going to add in my two empty ends. And then my third line, when y is equal to 5, it has a greater than. So it has no finishing point. So y is equal to 5, starting at 5, and then drawing a line and putting an arrow on the end because there is no finishing point. And because it has an equal to at the start, it would be a solid dot. So that is my completed step graph. I've got my three lines. I've gone ahead and added in my empty and my closed dots indicating where the values are included on each equation. So that is an example of how do we construct a step graph.